Imagine trying to lift a heavy rock with just your hands. It would take a lot of strength. But if you use a lever, like a long stick with a rock underneath as a pivot, suddenly lifting the heavy object is much easier. That's because machines help us change forces, making work easier by reducing the effort needed to move objects. Machines don't create energy out of nowhere, but they allow us to use force more efficiently. Some machines let us apply less force over a longer distance, while others allow us to apply more force over a shorter distance. A ramp is a great example. Imagine pushing a heavy box straight up onto a high platform. It would take a lot of effort. But if you use a ramp, you can push the box up more gradually using less force over a longer distance. This is why moving trucks and wheelchairs use ramps. They spread the force out, making lifting easier. A lever also changes force. A seesaw is a type of lever, and where you sit on it makes a big difference. If you sit far from the middle, the fulcrum, you don't have to push as hard to lift someone on the other side. The same idea works with a crowbar. Using a longer handle reduces the effort needed to lift something heavy. Gears and pulleys are also used to change force. A pulley system, like the ones used in construction cranes, help lift massive objects by spreading the weight across multiple ropes. The more pulleys in a system, the less effort you need to pull. That's why people use pulleys to lift heavy loads in wells, flagpoles, and even elevators. Gears work in a similar way. In a bicycle, a small gear connected to the pedals turns a bigger gear on the wheel, making it easier to ride uphill. In a car, gears inside the engine help control speed and power. Lower gears provide more force to move heavy loads while higher gears make the car go faster with less effort. Even screws and wedges help change force. A screw is actually a ramp wrapped around a cylinder, and it allows force to be applied gradually. That's why turning a screw into wood is easier than hammering in a nail. A wedge, like an ax, focuses force into a small area making it powerful enough to split wood. Machines help us use force more efficiently, whether by spreading it out, focusing it, or changing its direction. The next time you ride a bike, lift something heavy, or use a screwdriver, think about how a machine is helping you apply force in a smarter way.